Oh god! <laughs> what is going on? I saw that. Wait, I heard something. What is it? No, I guess not. I swear it's a bird or something. It's... Just Fables. Hello everyone, welcome to Just Fables. I'm Adam Crash, and with me today is the man who enjoys licking between each and every toe on any single human being on the entire planet, Jason. And we're back playing Crash Bandicoot today. It's interesting. Uh, whatever, <laughs> whatever you said. So now we're off to the temple ruins. So far, the game has not presented terribly that much of a challenge for me. Well, you've already beaten like all three games. Yes, like, I have. Second that this came out. So. Yes, I did. However, I did not give myself a chance to warm up or anything today, so this will be interesting. Let's see how this goes. Mm. Ah, okay. The only times where it's not that good is when it's someone with a metallic foot and you're in the pole and your tongue gets stuck in the metal crevices. Yes, it happened a lot. But one is one is more than enough, and it's happened unfortunately on multiple occasions. Okay. <laughs> so you're you're like the kid from uh, Christmas Story, except with the foot. Yes, instead of <laughs> instead of a flagpole, it's a foot. It's, it's a foot. It's a human foot. <laughs> That's interesting to yeah. say the least. Yeah. Okay, well then. But the only difference is, like, he was actually stuck there. I could just remove the foot and take it with me. What the f- <laughs> What are you gonna cut it off the other human? Well, no, it's, it's uh, clearly a prosthetic if it's metal. Oh. Well, no, I thought it was a foot coated in metal, because, like, you're in a weird, in a weird condition. So you Why just, like, took- Why in metal? I don't- uh, Dude, I don't know. Whatever you do <laughs> in your- your theoretical bedroom is up to you. <laughs> well, if theoretical you, bedroom. I yes, have I'm not saying you. No, I'm not saying you actually do this in your bedroom per se, wherever you can, wherever you participate in sexual acts. Who says this has to be sexual? Okay, <laughs> wherever you participate in your acts of pleasure that are not typically received by other human beings as normal. Again, we're going back to pleasure to being sexual. It's, it's nope. I never said that. I just implied that it was something that you enjoyed. You assumed it, I meant a second. I'm correct. Sure, yes, Adam, you're always correct. Thank you, Casey. That means a lot. Even when you're wrong, you're right. It, it, yep, see? Like, if, if just everyone in my life would just say that, mm. it, things just would be so much better. Because, you know, whenever I'm right, I'm right, you know? Fuck! You made it. Ha 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 ha! Now, what's to the left here? You're gonna like... find out. Oh! <laughs> I played through this level and I was just like, yeah, I'm not jumping that way. Fuck you, game. Yup. I didn't do that the first time either because I was like, uh, no. <laughs> and why? Wow. Because okay. the beginning of this level says, like, it doesn't say, like, follow the Wampa fruit or something, but it yeah. says something like, there's some sort of hint that's like, follow the whatever for mm -hmm. a hint or something. And I actually really like that about the, the remake of this game is that they put in those hints to make mm. it, to make these hidden areas more easily discoverable. Because beforehand, they're not... You wouldn't really... Th I mean, you might think to do that, but... You otherwise really wouldn't. Right. But that, they put those things in on purpose, because back in the day, they'd want you to go back and play the game as much as you could, so you get you feel like you get the most value out of it. Okay. So they put that kind of stuff in, so you kept playing the game, so you knew... You know, you made a good purchase, kind of thing. Cool. Yeah. I just learned something. Well, yeah, when well, you think about it, it makes sense. You buy yeah. one game... And they can only put so much information on the one disc or the one cartridge or whatever you're mm. playing. So they want to make sure that you feel that you got the best value for your money. So by making you go back, and in this game it's like getting the gems. You don't need the gems to beat the game, but you can get them and you unlock like a little secret at the end and that's it, but... What's the secret? It's a cutscene of you rescuing Tawna before beating Cortex. That's in this game. In the second one you get a laser that blows up Cortex, and in the third one, you send Cortex and Entropy and Uka Uka back in time. I missed one fucking box! <laughs> what? <sighs> Do you want to go back in? No, fuck it. Okay. It's cool, bro. I'm so. happy I beat it when I try, though. I, I recently watched a YouTuber play this exact same level and die, like, a hundred times. Like, the whole level was in play- the whole ten-minute episode was in playing that one level. Yeah. Is he a popular YouTuber? Yes. It's a someone I know. Uh, maybe. Because I know you're not gonna say who it is nope. exactly to call them out. I'll so tell you when we're not recording, but... Road to nowhere! Here we go! 
So this is not the high, the harder one. However, it is difficult in its own right. Yes. However, uh, I've gotten the gem on the high road, the high, the harder version of this level. I got the gem already, and when some of my friends come over, I make them play it for fun, so I can watch them and get watch them rage and stuff. <laughs> it's quite amusing. However, getting this mask is going to make me go really fast. It's going to kind of screw me up. So it's like, gotta go fast. It's Sanic, guys. <laughs> it's Sanic the horse egg. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, Hoggy. Yeah, they gotta fix that glitch. Yeah. The hog flying into the air. Like and that. then just staying there yeah. for a second or two. <laughs> Woo! These levels make me tense. I, I can tell you, you are ah, super shit. tense. Right oh, now. that was bullshit. Ding! <laughs> oh, that was crap. I'm not happy with that one. <laughs> you have 62 oh, lives! I was gonna say, I do have a ton of lives, fuck. Now 61. I wanna get to 99. That's the goal. To not need lives, basically. I did he it! Stopped. He stopped! <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> he, just, he just sat down and was like, alright, you passed me, whatever. Basically. You have vested me, though. <laughs> You may now leave in peace. Is is it Markiplier no. or Jacksepticeye? Neither. Really? Yeah. Yes. I thought one of them was playing, doing a playthrough of this. So I will figure it would have been one of them. Nope. Hmm. I'm really good at Crash Bandicoot. <laughs> I probably know who it is, it's just I'm drawing a blank right well, now. Let's not play the guessing game. Yeah, Why yeah. not? Because I don't I'm not gonna tell you either if even if you guess right, I'm gonna say no. I'm not burning bridges. I mean it's not burning bridges to say like, oh yeah, I watched this guy's video and he I died. I watched this guy and he sucks! Yeah, no, I'm not. You, you weren't saying that, you were just saying, oh yeah, he just Okay, died so a lot. Now, now I'm gonna say that. I was watching this guy and he sucks. There, I said it. <laughs> Okay. This one. Yep. I like that. Later on on my playthrough, I think... I'd, I don't know, when it changes from the assistance levels to cortex levels. Um, the assistant? What? what? The dude with the skinny heads at the very beginning. Embryo? Yeah, him. Yeah. Like, I, I never did one of his levels, but I somehow did a Dr. Portax level. Yeah, they're both a little bit harder than the normal ones. Yeah, and, like, they were all pretty how, much how did I miss? just... Oh, wait. Oh, I need the gem as well. Okay. Go on. Did all pretty much... All the boxes were TNT? Yeah, basically. Yep. It's just a harder version, so... Like, yeah. There's basically, like, no reward in them. Well, if you beat the Cortex level, you get a key, which unlocks secret levels. Okay, I did and get the a key. I the embryo level, and, and it helps with the boxes too, right? Yes, I believe so. I Crash One is the game that I know the least about. Crash Three is the one I know most about. I feel like a lot of people are in that same realm. Okay, I mean, I know zilch about all of them, so it's okay. Man, I am burning through these. You are. I'm doing pretty okay. I'm happy with myself. This is not a very comedic episode, though. No. This is more of an informative episode. Yeah. <laughs> Which, a little bit more of information, uh, didn't uh, Naughty Dog or Ubisoft or whoever did this, like, came out Activision. and said... Activision? Yes. Came out and finally said that, yeah, this game is much harder than the original because yep. they use the jump mechanic, which you mentioned in an earlier episode. Yes, in my review episode, which I will put over in an icon on the top of this, this video, um, they because we can't move it anywhere else. No. <laughs> <laughs> they decided to use the jump mechanic from, or the jumping mechanics from Crash Bandicoot 3, and in put them in place of 1 and 2, which is what a lot of people were complaining about because it made 1 and 2 harder. So Activision eventually, recently just came out and said that, by the time this video comes out, it's going to be old news. Yeah. But um, they came out and said that it was, in fact, actually harder. But once you adjust to it, I mean, yeah, it's harder still, and you're still going to see me get pissed off when I miss things by a little bit. But outside of that, when you adjust, it's not. I mean, that's fucking bullshit. <laughs> There's an example of me getting annoyed. 
Three deaths, one episode. That's not bad. Yeah, that's not this bad. This is my third level, so that's average of one per stage. I'm happy with that. So, basically, you should be able to get used to it. Yeah. But for people like... The people who are getting mad are the people like me who played the game and know it so well that you have muscle memory associated with it. So you know, like, this is how Crash jumps in this game, and this is how far I should go. And that's why they were getting upset. Because it didn't feel right in that respect. Nice. Two lives. Don't kill me. It wouldn't have. It did. I never take risks. Okay. <laughs> Remember, kids, never take risks in life. No. Just sit home and masturbate and don't talk to anyone. And then watch our videos. And just, but that goes without saying. But don't do the masturbate and watch your videos at the same time, please. Or if you do, just don't let us know about it. I mean, you could like Jason, though. I, I preferably don't like to know that kind of stuff. Jason's into that. I don't think he's into that. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if you let us know, just like, oh yeah, when you do this, like, it gets ah, me, what? like, crazy in the mood, like, then, then we'll probably change that. Just, just to piss you off. <laughs> <laughs> I love when you guys breathe really heavily into the microphone. That really gives me a rock hard boner. <laughs> a boner? Yes, a boner. Never had a boner, Jason. What is that from? I remember. I, you're referencing something. <laughs> South Park? I don't really know what it's from. I'm sorry. All I know is that playing Crash Bandicoot gives me a rock hard steel boner. That was. Family Guy, Stewie! Was it? That's what it was. Yeah, he. Like in a super earlier episode, I don't know how I remember this. But he was going through his, like, family, his parents' stuff, and they found, like, an intimacy, like, board game. And, like, he picked out a card, and it's read, Do a strip tease until your partner gets- And see how long until your partner gets a boner. The deuce is a boner! <laughs> <laughs> He's not familiar with that. Yeah. And on that interesting, <laughs> interesting, trivial note, we're gonna wrap up this episode of Just Fable. So thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed this episode, please subscribe down below, leave a like and comment. Jason, do you have any words for everyone at home? If you have a pet lizard, glue some feathers to it to help it fly. <laughs> Bye. <gasps>